Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin here. I was going to start implementing our square attack function uh, right in this video before I realized suddenly that we don't really yet have the get queen attacks function that would be doing both like referencing the bishop attacks uh, and the rook attacks simultaneously to get actually the queen attacks. So let's actually implement this little function in this video and try to test that out and then hopefully we'll go for implementing our e square attack function. So uh, I just want to say like get win attacks and let me just uh, let me actually grab grab the entire code here. So this would be no uh, called get queen attacks square occupancy is all all the same but uh, here I just want to initialize uh, uh, result uh, result attacks bit board and this would be u64 result equals to zero unsigned long long also I want to initialize mm, bishop bishop occupancies variable so u64 bishop uh, occupancies uh, it would be equal to actually a occupancy like this and the same for rook occupancies So initialize rook occupancies and rook occupancies here. And <clears throat> now we want um, uh, to get the attacks for uh, of both tables, rook attacks tables and bishop attack tables. So let's start with bishops. So if we take if we take our bishop occupancy. And bitwise add it with the bishop masks, just like we did it within the bishop attacks. Then multiply by the bishop magic numbers and 64 minus bishop relevant bits. And here all about the rook. Okay. <coughs> So here we want to get bishop attacks and say result equals and bishop attacks and indexed by the bishop occupancy magic index okay and also we want to get rook attacks get rook attacks and rook attacks and rook occupancy and here we say result bitwise or with this rook attack so first we, we're getting this bishop attacks and then uh, bitwise or in the result with the rook attacks so eventually we have uh, both uh, rook and bishop attacks uh, being rendered uh, on a target attack bitboard so well, actually uh, let's call this better to call this queen attacks queen attacks uh, queen attacks okay and like this and finally we want to return our queen attacks and this should 
kind of work already. So uh, let's actually try to test this now. So I want to open the terminal in a current working directory and by typing make debug and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable here. Okay, bishop occupancy undeclared. It's probably easier to make it like this. Okay, and let's also get rid from the output of the previous part. So I don't really want to parse any FENs here. And what I want to do is actually to initialize the occupancy bitboard and u64 occupancy equals to zero unsigned loan loss so first it would be empty and now we want to get queen attacks okay and let's put a queen uh so get queen attacks so let's put a queen on the d4 square and pass this occupancy as, as an argument so on the empty board it should uh, yeah and also I want to print the text so print bit board and print this stuff here so now we have the text for for our queen on d4 so it goes like uh, combined rook attacks and bishop attacks and now we'll start adding some occupancy bits to uh, prevent this race of going to the very edge of the board and that's the way I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be testing whether it kind of works or not so let's start with uh, let's start with say b6 and here I just want to set occupancy and set bit occupancy and what was b6 okay b6 and let's start trying this so okay it just drops on b6 as expected okay so now let's try to drop on um, let's try to drop on d6 as well so d6 okay it works and now well probably f6 might be fun here as well so assuming there we have a pawns and also just to give you an idea so we want to just print the occupancies just to give you an idea where the occupancy bits are being set up so just print bitboard and occupancy like this so we have three pawns here and they're preventing the queen attack race from getting to the edges of the board hitting the spawns okay now let's try one on uh, b4 and g4 so uh, b4 and g4 okay so drops at b4 now drops at g4 now let's try c3 uh, well let's say d3 and e3 so c3 d3 and e3 yeah so let's try this as well okay perfect so here we got our occupancies and the queen is on d4 so just uh, at x here slightly to the sides okay until it gets this bit here and then here here and here yeah so it seems like so here 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 okay here here yeah so it seems like it's working quite pretty nicely well okay guys so this is it for this short video and from now on i really hope that uh i didn't miss anything else and we actually we we, we are actually ready to implement our square attack function and 
just a little spoiler <laughs> before that video is about to come uh, it would be much easier to implement compare how we done this within the hexadecimal 88 mode generator because we don't really need to uh, keep uh, to take care of the text anymore it would be just a matter of a couple of bitwise operations in order to answer the single question whether the current given square is attacked by whatever piece uh, of a specific color uh, uh, on a uh, on a on a current given square. So if a particular square square is actually getting attacked by a piece of any type. So see you next video. Thanks for.